Here we're asked to solve a polynomial inequality. To do this, we'll make use of a sign chart. And so we begin by finding the critical numbers. Now for a polynomial function, the critical numbers are the roots. So we'll set this equal to zero and solve. In this case, we notice there's a GCF. The GCF is 3x squared. We could solve this by factoring. In fact, let's go ahead and factor out a negative 3x squared. Doing that, we'll be left with x squared minus 4x plus 3. Factoring further, we have negative 3x squared times x times x, 1 times 3. If they're both negative, that adds up to negative 4. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. So at this point, we can set each factor equal to 0. And so negative 3x squared equal to 0 will give us a double root x equals 0. x minus 1 equals 0 gives us the root x equals 1. And x minus 3 equals 0 will give us the last root here, x equals 3. And so the three critical numbers are 0, 1, and 3. Next, let's construct a sign chart. And because we were given a strict inequality, we'll use an open dot at our critical numbers here, 0, 1, and 3. Now this breaks the number line up into four regions. And so we need to test values to determine where the function is positive or negative. To do that, we'll use the factored form of the polynomial. Let's begin with, say, x equals 5. Substituting in, we have negative 3 times 5 squared, which will be negative. We don't really care what the exact value is. We're just, we just need to determine if it's going to be positive or negative. And so when I substitute 5 into this factor, x minus 1, we have 5 minus 1, which will leave us with a positive factor. 5 minus 3 is 2, and that'll be positive. And so multiplying a negative times two positive numbers, the result will be negative. And that tells me this first region here, the results will be negative, no matter what x value I choose. Now let's test this second region. Let's choose x equals 2 and do the same thing. So f of 2 in this case, negative 3 times 2 squared will leave us with a negative factor. 2 minus 1 is 1, that's a positive factor. 2 minus 3 will leave us with negative 1 or a negative factor. A negative times a positive times a negative will result in a positive number. So in that region, we'll get positive results. Now, choosing a number between 0 and 1, say 1 half, we'll test that. f of 1 half in this case, we have negative 3 times 1 half squared will be negative. 1 half minus 1 is negative. And 1 half minus 3 is negative. Multiplying three negatives results in a negative number. Now finally, choosing a number in this last region here, say negative 1. Substituting in negative 1, we have negative 3 times negative 1 squared leaves us with a negative factor. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative. And negative 1 minus 3 is negative. Again, multiplying three negative factors will result in a negative number. Once we complete the sign chart, we can next use it to answer the question. And in this case, we're asked to find the x values for which this polynomial is greater than zero. In other words, where is it positive? So from the sign chart, we can see that the x values between one and three result in positive values. And so the answer is all the x values between one and three.